They're hosts, they don't also pick the map. Correct. No, we pick the map. Okay. What map do you want to do? Um, this, this one works. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with yeah. Detroit. Who host is first? Good job, Xerox. Quickly. Which way? <laughs> you, because you, you have a feeling you're going to trounce everyone? Yep. I look forward to that. That'd be great. Hey, I was doing really well last night. Hey, match, you were so. killing it. <laughs> did I cast your last match? I vaguely remember doing that. Uh, I think you did. did. Colburn did. I know he was there. Yeah. Hmm, might not have been me then. You did the last one where you accidentally didn't mute the team and then you went and made your own party chat. Yeah. Yeah, that's a name. rookie mistake there. Which I will not do again. I remembered. Are you going to get out now? Well, whenever we're... You guys ready to roll, I guess? Because everyone turned off their broadcaster. Cool. Let's do it. Have fun. Start or nah? Start. Come on, try button. You're going too slow. There we go, try button. All right. It's oddly quiet here, talking to myself, but uh, we've got our... i got to pull back up the bracket here, but I think we got a quarterfinals match. Pretty sure this is quarterfinals here. Between Victorious Secret and Asshat and Cockfellow. No idea where anybody got any of those fucking names, but oh, I need to turn on my... Uh, this is for mature audiences only. Switch on uh, on Twitch with that language. All right, let's check out what everyone's got. We got Colburn and Z. They are Asshat and Cockfellow. I'm just going to call them Zebert or Colesburn for the rest of the match. They are on offense here. Colburn picking up the bomb, looking like they're going to take a pretty strong push on A here on Detroit. Now, Try is going to see him. Let me turn on some uh, COD vision here. Not sure if I turned it on correctly or not, because we can't see anybody yet, but... Try is sitting just on the other side of... Just on the other side of hospital. Yeah, we got cop vision on here. So, Colburn taking a real slow approach. Gonna see Try once here. Not gonna be able to pick up the kill. Try's gonna kill her, kill him, rather, and Bomb's gonna be down inside hospital. Z has one shot here to try and pick this up. Takes out Havoc, trying to get him on the flank, going towards the alley, and now it's Try once and Z. Tries coming around the alley. Oh, it's just going to miss Z coming around the alley. She's checking all that really slow, coming around to check it. Z, meanwhile, is coming into Bomb. I doubt Try knew and realized that she had uh, that she had put him down with Bomb. You couldn't really see it there in hospital among all of the, uh, the debris. Now, she's going to realize pretty quickly that the bomb's being planted and she is in a terrible position. Z, meanwhile, going in, sitting in his perfect little corner near lockers, waiting for her probably to come in from C, thinking she's over by green still, but she's wrapping around the exact right way, probably, based on where Z is, coming through garage. 
He's going to go check that corner as well. This is all going to be about timing and who checks which corner at what time to be able to pull this out. Now, if Tri can get over there to the bomb before he picks it up, but he's not, he's going to come check it out and only get a hit on her. She's going to try and get a hit marker. Z's might be going to roll all the way around the front door. No, we're all in the lockers. She's going to try and defuse, though, and is not going to get it in time. One to zero. Well, I went all the way to the wire there. 1 0, ass hat, and cockfellow. Man, that fire blaster. That'll get you every time. And right, I've got the uh, tournament bracket up here. Let's go to the loser bracket. Sorry, folks. That's what we're in right now. Loser bracket. This is round four of the user loser bracket, rather. So this is the... It's not the quarterfinals. It's the Elite Eight, I guess, of the tournament. Because next, the winner of this match will go up against Buse Likes to Fist and play in the second-to-last match of the loser's bracket. And then the loser of that game... Excuse me, the winner of that game will play against McFusion, who lost the semifinals in the winner's bracket. The winner of that game will play for the finals against the winner of the winner's bracket, uh, which is Balsack. Balsack, Balsack. All right, back to the game here. We've got uh, Colburn dying in some, I'm sure, glorious fashion. Try once picking up that kill as well. And we've got... Havoc trying to cover Try Once, who's putting down the bomb, who's able to get it off in time, but isn't able to get away. Putting down that bomb, the animation is notoriously, incredibly frustratingly slow, speaking from experience here. And Z easily able to pick up all four kills, both bomb defuses, or excuse me, a bomb plant and a bomb defuse, making it 2-0 for Asshat and Cockfellow. Not looking super good for Victoria's Secret here, but they still have a lot of game to play to pull this out. Back here on offense, uh, Colburn. I doubt we're going to see Z taking the bomb very often. He's a he's a slayer. He is going to go and, and push for you and get you to numbers advantage. He's not going to be the more, uh, I guess, strategic bomb planter of the two, which is good. They've got their roles separated. They've got them figured out. And he's going to know, uh, they're, they're both going to know what to do here on Asset and Cockfellow. Let's head over on defense here. We've got... Havoc getting some action over near Garage Stairs. Oh, he's glitching just a little bit. I think that was uh, Havoc picking up the kill on Colburn there in Garage, jumping over his body right now. Meanwhile, Tribone's here on defense trying to roll through the alley. She's not going to see anybody because he's going to come up on he's going to come up on Havoc and take him down. Havoc 1 and 3 right now. Still dying all three rounds. Z picking up five kills. If he can pick up the one on try once here, that's going to be two kills per three rounds with no other problems. The problem here is he's got the bomb now. Not a whole lot of time to put it down. Try knows he's not, not got a lot of time to put it down either. Not sure if she saw him go by there. She knows he's got to be planning somewhere. She's going to take the chance here and pick up this kill here on A. All right, Victoria's Secret on the board now. Two to one here on Detroit. This was the map chosen by Victoria's Secret as well. Uh, they were just playing a warm-up match on this map before this with some bots. And uh, they weren't difficult bots, but Xerox picking up two back-to-back -back DNA bombs, finishing about 129 to 6 in that uh, warm-up match. So this is considerably less kills that he's going to do here. He's only setting up 5-1. and one. Not going to go perfect, but it's partner Colburn here. The, uh, the one who's kind of playing the objective, sitting at 0-3 with no defuses, no plants. Trialance has got the bomb here on offense. Got Victoria's Secret. So he's going to park himself over in school window. And Colburn down again. Uh, that was Havoc that got the kill. I never seemed to be able to get that one on on the stream. I didn't realize they were so close to each other. But uh, you got Z rolling around. He's going to check near hospital, near the alley. Feels probably a little pinned down right now. Probably saw where Colburn died. Isn't exactly sure where everyone is. Havoc in front of hospital now. Maybe going to go and see Z, depending on where they are. 
he's got to make this turn correctly. Xerox facing the wrong way, Havoc facing the wrong way. They are so close to each other on the other side of this wall and they have no idea. Havoc had to have seen him there, didn't see him. The TAC-19 to the face is going to take Havoc down for a fourth time. Meanwhile, Try knows exactly where Z is now. Z knows that Try knows exactly where he is. So he's not going to hang out here for too long. If she's not going to come calling, he's going to go find her. And he's going to have a pretty big beacon there on B. Now she's going to have the upper hand being able to set up somewhere in school to wait. She's going to set up over outside of jump wall. Hoping maybe she's got a good vantage point on him coming over from garage. They're going to meet right here on the stairs. That tack 19 to the face again. No way to get around that. If you are coming around a corner blind, you are not going to be protected against that attack, and uh, you're going to go down for it. And Z knows he's got 7-1 to one to prove it. 3-1 to one here on Detroit for Asshat and Cockfellow. All right, round number five here on, again, Detroit. If you didn't know, there are two attackers alive and two defenders alive. We're going to hang out with Havoc here. We haven't seen a lot of Havoc gameplay, uh, mostly because he he and Colburn, have, or he and Z, rather, have not been the objective players, even the Slayer. And uh, we're going to see what, what Havoc can get himself into. Try is uh, sitting in front of... Oh, Try is going to get picked up on by... Culburn, I think that was, right in front of the hospital. And hang back here on Havoc, the sole defender. Now he's 2v1 situation, trying to figure out how he can break through these defenses, which surely they've set up by now, but they haven't. Picks up a kill on Culburn. Now Z is over in yellow. He's not going to go clear that, though. Z is just going to wait for him. See him pass right in front of him. He knows exact. He has to know exactly where he is. But Havoc's going to come in and try and get the Atlas kill. He's not going to do it. What are you doing? Coming in with the Atlas kill into yellow, knowing that that TAC-19 has to be waiting for you around every corner. I can't. <laughs> That's a death wish. He was, he, was, he was ready for it. Four to one here on Detroit. Game one, or map one rather, of this, uh, what did I say, Elite Eight type round in the loser's bracket. Let's hit up over on uh, Mr. Colburn here. These gentlemen are on defense. Try once with the bomb is going to come right around behind Colburn. Depending on where he's looking, she's going to get the kill, but Z is facing out of the window and he's going to pick up that kill on Try once instead. Havoc now in a panic, not sure exactly where the shots were coming from and where he's got to go to. Didn't see in that window right there either. Now that window was a piece of debris. I saw something in the window that wasn't there. He's going to come up on Z though and not be able to do anything in time. This looks like a uh, um, pretty one-sided match. And it's not one-sided for one team. It's one-sided for one player, which is Xerox here. 10-1 to one on a five-score streak right now. Just absolutely killing. Let's see if they can turn it around here. Colburn picking up the bomb over on offense. Try and Havoc splitting up here around school. Havoc going with a little rush maneuver, trying to get back and around. Not too bad of a strategy here. Trying to just, oh, he's just going to say he, he got a kill on Colburn here earlier, hoping that someone comes through here very quickly, getting into position. Not going to see anybody knowing they're probably running to A. Doesn't know that Xerox is right there. Hopefully he doesn't go straight up the alley like he did last time without clearing his back. Let's see if Z saw him. He didn't. He thankfully wasn't in that window, thankfully for Havoc, rather. Colburn is dead at the hands of Try Once over here near A. Not exactly sure where that went down. Oh, and Z's going to go down to Havoc. Why did I switch? I missed it. Five to two. Let's see this. Havoc sitting in the window right there. Now it's Z's turn to come in blind into the alley near yellow with a pistol. Where on earth did his tag 19 go? He would have had that kill easily and had the match. 
had he just had the tag 19 ready to go a little quick draw grip Let's see if he uh, reconsiders turning that off now get a little bit of load out up here he's got his secondary PDW and the Moors with uh, variable zoom I think And Colburn going out again, one and seven here, <clears throat> here on Detroit. Not sure which of the players got him, but they're sticking together pretty well. This he's in a different place every single time. They are not a, at all ready for it. The PDW is not going to do the trick either. And Havoc going to pick up the kill again on Z twice in a row. I think Z might be learning his lesson from using the PDW rather than the Tac 19. He had so much success with that earlier in this match. Not going to pull it out now. And Havoc with the victory punch here. Coming back 5-3. to three. They'll need to win the next three rounds. Three sides all in a row. Z sitting here. Z picking up the bomb. Proving me wrong. Oh, and <laughs> picking up a snipe on try once. He was just trying to come around the corner. Z knows he's got the advantage here. He's got the slaying potential. He's just going to kind of go balls to the wall, get as many kills as he can, and get that bomb planted. Havoc's going to come up behind him. Havoc going to have to get in position here pretty quickly, not knowing that Z is laying down with an ASM. Oh, and he does see him, though. No, that was a, the PDW with a red dot. I thought it was an ASM. And, uh, with that, with the PDW kill here in the corner, in the smoke. Look at that smoke. We didn't really see that on uh, on his viewpoint. You know, the smoke's a little recreated there. But uh, fitting ending here. I think that was Xerox's 11th kill of uh, of the round. Nope, 12th kill. 12 and 3 with three plants, two diffuses. His partner, 1 and 7 with 0 and 0. And try once four and six with two and zero, oh, and her partner six and seven with zero oh and zero oh to round it out. All right, for anybody watching, I'm going to kill the stream real quick and bring it back up. Better archiving for uh, for Twitch, so I'll be back momentarily.